Thank you for coming to KSHB.com and checking out the weather blog. Well, also, why don't you come out to Nebraska Furniture Mart and check out 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. here on Saturday. Meet our weather team and meet Sunny the Weather Dog and also our new Storm Tracker vehicle and the Storm Chasers. Also, we'll be giving away four sets of Royals tickets and handing out some fans and uh, 41 Action News fans and flashlights. So pretty cool stuff. And uh, also Gary's book, he'll have that out there too, signing that. So a lot of fun had by all. It is severe weather day out in Nebraska Furniture Mart, and there's a chance of severe weather tonight. Let's get into this. Now, during the morning here, there's been some thunderstorms in the northwest corner of Missouri, may be making it into Maryville, but this line up to our northwest is staying to the northwest, will not affect any plans here in the Kansas City area, and it will actually weaken here through the day. But there is a cold front to our west. Look at that, 33 in Casper, 40 in Rapid City. This front is going to move through tonight, interact with the warmth and humidity we have, and the chance of showers and thunderstorms goes up. And there's a slight risk of severe weather. Really, any time you have a chance of thunderstorms in April, May, or June, the chance of severe weather is there. This threat, it's a slight risk, marginal risk. You're looking at large hail, damaging winds being the main threat. And I think by the time they get to Kansas City, most thunderstorms will be under severe limits, but some quarter-sized hail, some wind gusts over 50 miles per hour are possible with some of the thunderstorms. So let's get into our power cast. And at 3 p.m., it's just windy, warm, and humid. Some leftover clouds from those showers and thunderstorms out to the west. But by 8, 9, 10 o'clock, here comes the rain and thunderstorms around. So if you're headed out to the K tonight, definitely keep an eye to the sky. We'll be watching for that. And then as we go through the night, the rain ends by 3, 4 in the morning. And guess what? By sunrise on Easter Sunday, it is dry out there. Now, there may be some wet grass for some Easter egg hunts, but Sunday is looking like a dry day, a nice day. The front that comes through tonight is stalling to the south, and new rain and thunderstorms are likely tomorrow night in Oklahoma and southern Kansas. We're on the northern edge of that. So there may be some rain around here later uh, Sunday night and into Monday morning, but most of the activity will stay to our south. And Monday is really not going to be a bad day. Temperatures in the 60s to near 70. There are other thunderstorm chances throughout the week. We'll have to keep an eye on that and the chance for severe weather as well. Now, for the weekend, the rain chance today is zero, unless you're in the northwest corner of Missouri. 90% chance of rain tonight, basically 8 p.m. to 3 or 4 a.m., maybe earlier off to the north and west. And then Easter Sunday is dry, and then there's that 30% chance of rain on Sunday night. Now, the weather timeline here for today, partly cloudy, windy, temperatures around 80 from now to 6 p.m. 6 to 10 p.m., thunderstorm chances increase from northwest to southeast, and then thunderstorms likely from about 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. A few may be severe. So if you're headed out to the K, keep an eye to the sky. First pitch is at 6.15, which is good because it's an hour earlier. The Royals get some good pitching, get out of there quickly, and be over with by 9 o'clock or so. Even though by chance it rains at 60%, if we can slow the rain down a little bit, speed the game up, everything will be fine. But I would definitely take an umbrella to the game for the end of the game. It'll be windy also to start as well. And Easter Sunday, well, it's looking great. 6 to 9 a.m., 56, mostly cloudy, 12, noon, 65, some sun and clouds, and 3 p.m., 70 degrees. Some clouds around, but nice and much less wind than today. And on the seven-day forecast, we have that chance of rain tonight. We have another chance of rain tomorrow night. We have another chance of rain or early Monday and then into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. And there's another chance on Friday that we'll be keeping an eye on. So several chances of rain. Total rainfall through the week. Some locations may see a half inch. Others may see three to four inches of rain. So hopefully your yard or farm will get the rain it needs. So we do not have to water or irrigate this week. Have a great weekend and happy Easter.